My father, Bob, regularly came to Vietnam in 1967 to cover the war for the Toronto Star. He wanted some action very early in the game. The first thing he did was he flew north to this part of the world. This is what used to be the de demilitarized zone, the DMZ. This is the famous Ben Hai River that stretches all the way to the Gulf of Tonkin. On the right side is North Vietnam. On the left side is South Vietnam. He came in with 700 Marines and they stepped into one of the biggest battles of the war. After a few days, there were 400 casualties, meaning 400 Marines dead or wounded. At one point, the fighting got so intense that uh, my father was ordered to dig a foxhole. He was given an M16 and a couple of grenades and pretty much left on his own. The Marines had uh, other things to worry about uh, than a funny journalist from Canada. But shortly before he died, my father took some notes for me on this particular battle and I'm just going to read you a couple of lines of what he wrote. At night there will be a, an exactly 20 minute mortar barrage followed by NVA running through shooting Kalashnikovs and throwing grenades. In the morning light there will be bodies from both sides, some still screaming from wounds. There were three runs through each night. Each time I d dug my foxhole deeper. I got a quick lesson on how to use an M16 and use it in the next three nights. It was chaos with everybody shooting, so I never knew whether I killed anybody. He later told me he thinks he probably did kill someone, and I've uh, had to live with this for 50 years now. Uh, journalists aren't supposed to kill people, but given the situation he was in, his point was, uh, what, what, what else could I do? Where was his foxhole? I don't know exactly. Um, somewhere, probably within a kilometer or two of where I'm standing now, but it's, it's a very uh, emotional moment for me to, to be here knowing that my father was uh, very close to this spot uh, during the war.